Hi, this is Stuart from the Photomatics team, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Photomatics plugin for Lightroom. The plugin is automatically installed when you install Photomatics Pro. So, open Lightroom and choose the bracketed photos you want to process in Photomatics. By the way, if you don't have a set of bracketed photos, then Photomatics can still process a single photo. Here I'm using three bracketed photos, the minus two, plus two, and zero EV here. First, select the photos. Hold down the control button of your keyboard whilst left-clicking your mouse. When you have them all selected, release the control button. Then right-click your mouse on one of the photos and a pop-up menu appears. Scroll down to Export, then highlight and click Photomatics Pro. There is another way to invoke the plugin. With your photos selected, go up to the menu bar, click File, and then scroll down to Plugin Extras and click Export to Photomatics Pro. When you invoke the plugin, you will get this dialog. And in this box, you will find settings for exporting and merging your photos to HDR. Leave the Automatically Re-Import to Lightroom option checked so that your HDR photo appears back in Lightroom once Photomatics has rendered and saved it. Click Export to load, merge and render your photos in Photomatics Pro. Lightroom is now exporting your photos and up in the top left hand corner a bar follows its progress. Once your photos have been exported, Photomatics will open automatically, then align and merge them. And here you'll be met by Photomatics Pro's Adjust and Preview screen. Over on the right of this screen, you'll find the built-in presets. Try clicking on a few. For instance, Balanced, Realistic, Natural, Painterly, Enhanced, Vibrant. You can also filter the presets by expanding the preset category combo box. For example, select Realistic, and all preset thumbnails in the Realistic category are displayed. And by using the sliders on the left, you can further adjust the look of your image. When you're happy with your image, click the Next Finish button. Before re-importing into Lightroom, you can add some finishing touches to your image. The Finishing Touch panel lets you increase the contrast of your image. You can also sharpen it, straighten and crop it. To re-import your image, click the Save and Re-import button. Photomatics Pro will now render the HDR photo and send it back to Lightroom. And once back in Lightroom, you will see your rendered and re-imported HDR photo along with the three bracketed photos that you exported earlier. Now, it is possible that you won't see the re-imported photo in Lightroom. In fact, it's happened to me when using Photomatics after importing photos from my camera. Fortunately, this is easy to solve. Go to the bottom of the screen and to the Film Strip Source Indicator, which is right above the Film Strip. Click on it and from the drop down menu select All Photographs. The missing image now appears. If you want to avoid seeing your entire catalogue after choosing All Photographs, then right click on the source images and from the drop down menu choose Go to Folder in Library. And now you'll only see the folder into which your source photos were imported to. Try the Photomatics plugin for Lightroom for yourself by downloading a free trial of Photomatics Pro 6 from hdrsoft.com. The trial never expires and just adds a Photomatics watermark to the rendered photos. 